early, mid, late high school, because it was on for so long. I think even maybe a little bit of college. But I think that it kind of, it was the point in time where people were getting to engage with shows on social media. I think it may have been a little bit earlier before. Like, I, I, I think of live tweeting, I think of scandal. I think that kind of, that was that trigger. But I do still think that a lot of fans were engaging and then people creating Stan accounts, Stan Twitters and Tumblrs and things like that all about the show. So when you first started on Glee, did you think it would leave such an impact in pop culture in the way that it did? I absolutely didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I, I I really didn't. I knew when I read the script, I felt like the show was very special and either people were going to get it or they, they weren't. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And um, it was kind of like the first show about that, that to me that highlighted being different misfits different what people consider mm -hmm. to be different um so I, I i i think that we spoke to a specific type of uh, audience and yeah. that's why it became so big because that audience really hadn't been highlighted or spoken to um in in such a specific way in deliberate way it was it was deliberate you know um but i i whew, i absolutely did not think <laughs> cuz it was when the pilot came out the show wasn't even out yet they literally showed mm -hmm. an early release of the pilot we hadn't even filmed a whole entire season they showed the early release and i was on my way to australia 2 months later to wow. do a signing just from the pilot not not wow. the season not the first just <laughs> <laughs> the pilot <laughs> and so I was like I, I have no idea what to expect but I'm gonna be on this ride I guess and yeah. we'll see where it ends up <laughs> you know I don't think any show has impacted the music industry in the way that Glee did. I think they probably even rewrote some of the um, some of the billboard rules because each week all of these Glee songs would be like in the top 10 like you you all these accolades and awards and making history week after week. I think when we look at the billboard charts and history makers, you have Elvis Presley, you have Aretha Franklin, you have Drake and you have Glee cast. Mm -hmm. So, what do you, you think Rihanna about? Too. Yes, Rihanna, too. Rihanna can't can't forget her. Can't forget her. But as far as the impact that it had on the music industry, why do you think that so many people resonated with these songs? I mean, the majority of them were clever covers. I know you had original songs like "Loser Like Me" and things like that. But why do you think that the music resonated with so many people? I, 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 they were already hits. Like I will always say this. <laughs> I would always say this um, in in uh, interviews. Like we did number one songs. Like they weren't songs that people didn't know. Um, we did number one songs that were a hit, and it's and, and it shows how much they were a hit because they were reaching a new generation that hadn't heard these songs. Mm -hmm. People never heard. Like younger people didn't know. Journeys don't stop believing. You yeah. know what I'm saying and. Um, I feel like what we did is added context in a story around the music and it just made people connect to it even more. Um, and also I think that the producers did a really great job with the, the, the sound. Um, Adam Anders and Alex Anders and uh, Tim, like they, they, they created this this harmonious sound and everybody loves choirs like we know the world <laughs> loves a choir okay and mm -hmm. so it's just all of those elements put into one i think it was it, it was inevitable for people to respond the way that they did yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I know I did. I know that you know, especially those those Christmas the Christmas versions. <laughs> it would be like the perfect. It would be the perfect holiday. I remember, you know, we would go to um go off campus for lunch during um high school, and those would be we would we would have the iTunes versions of the songs playing. It was just like it was truly a pop culture phenomenon. And speaking about one of my favorite characters all time, Mercedes on Glee, did you use a lot of your real life experiences when drawing um, inspiration to play this character? Um, hmm. 
I wouldn't say I wouldn't say so. I th- I feel like you know, on that show, Mercedes played uh, a heightened version of of a sometimes a heightened version of a stereotype, and we know what that trope was. But I feel mm-hmm. like the one thing that the show often did was yes, we're going to show that, but we're also going to show what's behind it. Um, yeah. so for, for me, I, I never, I never felt like Mercedes got, um, her full sex circle moment on that show to mm-hmm. where I could have dug deeper, um, and really showed who she was. But I do think that she got to show her emotion and what she can do through the music, which I'm always really grateful for that. I was able to display, you know, that side of myself, like in my music. Yes, I definitely put my heart into it. But as far as the character, not really. I, I People really don't believe this, but I'm an introvert. And I'm actually, I am a complete <laughs> introvert. I am a homebody. I'm actually very shy. I do not crave attention like i i actually kind of despise it a little bit like pay attention oh to me God. when i'm singing but after i finish singing please do not pay attention that's see, like that's it after that <laughs> it's a wrap <laughs> I'm, I'm out after that you know um but no i i i i feel like every actor kind of draws from some kind of experience to make it real for them but I, I unfortunately I, I don't think that I ever got that opportunity to really really dig in deep. 